G'day guys, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitars Is Already Hero song tutorial. And in this lesson, I'll be teaching you how to play In My Life by The Beatles, which is a really beautiful song and it's just really nice to listen to. Now, if you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarsalreadyhero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you really want to improve your guitar, then sign up to Guitars Already Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. For the basics of this song, you'll need your guitar in standard tuning, and you'll need a capo on the second fret of your guitar. The guitar I'm playing here today is a Cole Clark Fat Lady 2 with elixir strings. So let's start with the intro riff, which is a lot of fun to play. Now, we're going to base the start of this off a G chord, except we're only going to be fretting a couple of the notes here. So play a G chord, but the middle and pinky fingers are the only ones you're going to push down. So the third frets of the sixth and first string. For our first pluck, we're going to be hitting the sixth string, but at the same time with your middle finger, pluck the open second string. So this is hybrid picking where you're going to use a pick, but also your finger at the same time. And then you're going to pluck the first string, and then we're going to hit the open second string, and at this point you can lift all your fingers and hammer on to the first fret of the second string. And then we're going to pluck the third fret of the second string, and then we get into a D position with our ring finger already here and we're going to strum down all the strings of a D chord. And all together. And that's it for the intro riff, which is played through twice, which sounds like this. Alright, now we get to part one of the verse. Now, for all the chords, we have a nice and easy strumming pattern that just goes down, down, up, and in succession, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. We have two lines of chords here. We start with a G chord, then we go to a D, then an E minor, and then a G7. Now, you can play G7 in two different ways. You can play it this way, so ring on the 3rd fret of the 6th string, middle finger on the 2nd fret of the 5th, and index finger on the 1st fret of the 1st string. But I like to play this bar chord G7, because then it's going to be easier for us to get to our next chord. So this G7 is the same as an F chord shape, but slide it up 2 frets, and then we're going to lift our pinky finger. So that's G7. And then for our next chord we have C, now, you can play the open chord C here, but I prefer to play the bar chord C like this because getting to our next chord will be easier. So to play this C, your index finger needs to hit the third fret of the fifth string, and with your ring finger, just bar across the fifth frets of the fourth, third, and second strings. Or you can also use these three fingers bunched together like that for the C bar chord. Our next chord is a C minor. So that's why it's easier to use this C chord as opposed to this C chord, because we're already in that sort of bar chord position. So we have C minor. To play a C minor, it's the same shape as an F chord, except everything gets moved down one string and then up two frets. So that's C minor. And then we have G again for two strumming patterns. So each chord is played for one strumming pattern up here in the annotations. You repeat all these chords through twice for verse part one and it sounds like this all together. Next we get to verse part 2 and there's four lines of chords here. So we're going to start with an E minor and we're going to play this for two strumming patterns. And then C, now we can play a nice and easy open C chord shape for two strumming patterns. Then we go to an F chord for two strumming patterns. 
then G for two strumming patterns. For the third line of tabs, we go back to the E minor for two strumming patterns, and then we play an A major chord for two strumming patterns, and then we go to a C minor for two strumming patterns, and we end on the G for two strumming patterns. And that's it for verse part two, which sounds like this. Now in the middle of the song when we go back to the main riff, we play it exactly as we did in the intro. But this is optional, you can add some strumming to the D chord as well, so. Down, up, down, up, down, up. And then go back into the verse. Now in terms of rhythm, for the solo, we're just playing the verse part one, so nothing new to learn there. After the very final verse, we play another riff. And then we're going to hit a C minor chord, strum that, let it ring out, and then we have a final outro riff, which is very similar to the intro riff, except we have some added notes at the end. So we start off exactly the same. But then the next bar on the three beat, we're going to strum the D chord again, and then with an upstroke, lift your middle finger and hit the open first string and then put it back down, and then with a down stroke, hit the first and second strings together. So all of that together. And then we're going to end the song with the G chord. And the final outro riff all together. Alright, so now I'm going to teach you a simplified way of playing the keyboard solo on a guitar. So for this we won't need a capo, so all the tab is relative to no capo. We're going to start with the index finger on the 10th fret of the 2nd string, hit that, and then the 12th fret. So those two notes are fairly quick, and then we go up to the 9th fret of the 1st string. Like that. Then after that 9th fret we go to the 10th fret of the 2nd string, that middle finger and then with your pinky, 12th fret of the first, and then end on the 12th fret of the second. And all that starts on the end beat after the one, so one and like that. For the next bar, we start on the 11th fret of the third string with our ring finger. Then we go to 9th fret of the second, 10th fret of the second, and then end on the 9th fret of the first. Like that. And then we have three notes to end this bar. We're going to start with our middle finger on the 10th fret of the first string, then go up to 12th, hit that, and then go up to 15th, and hit that. And all together for the second bar. And then this third bar is where things get a little bit tricky. It's not super difficult, but it is a little fast, so maybe take it slow and then work your way up to full speed. So we're going to need a bar out your next finger across the 14th fret of the first and second string. You're going to have your ring finger on the 17th fret of the second string. You're going to hit the first string and then second string. And then we're going to change position. So with your middle finger, put that on to the 15th fret of the second string. And we play those two strings again, now in this position. And then you lift your middle finger and now you're just barring and you do the exact same thing. And then finally, your ring finger come down onto the 16th fret of the third string, hit the first string, and then the 16th fret of the third. So we're constantly alternating between the 14th fret of the first string and these descending notes. So in between this, we always have a 14th fret of the first string. And then to end this bar, we have 17th fret of the second, 15th fret of the second, and we end on the 16th fret of the third string. So all together for this bar. 
And a bit faster. For the final bar, we shift our index finger down to the 12th fret and we're barring across the first and second strings. Now the concept here is very similar to that third bar, except we're hitting a couple of different notes. So we're always alternating between the 12th fret of the first string and these notes. So we're gonna start with the 15th fret, 14th fret of the second string, 12th fret of the second string, and then 14th fret of the third string. So all of that together. And then the last three notes is 15th fret, 14th fret, and 12th fret of the second string. Like that. And all together for these four bars. You just played that through twice. So now I'm going to be playing through the song in its entirety. I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. A big thanks to my friend and artist by the name of Tugla for lending his awesome vocals. If you want to check out his YouTube channel, there's a link in the description below. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to, to practice, play along to, and see how you go. Thanks for watching guys, be sure to head over to guitarzerohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook, or if you want to improve your guitar playing then sign up to Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step by step guitar course. It'd mean the world if you could hit that like button, hit subscribe, and click the little notification bell as well, so that you don't miss out on my updates. Please leave your thoughts, comments, questions, and requests down below, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.